Hi, and welcome to Autofjord. I'm in Finland, and I have the honor to visit Markus Pitkanen. He's a wheelchair user, and he's also working for the Finnish Association for People with Physical Disabilities. He's been so kind to tell me more about the refueling process for people with disabilities and the challenges that brings. Hi, Markus. Hi, Jonas. Hi, and thank you for uh, having me here for a visit and uh, tell me more about your uh, process of uh, refueling. Well, a couple of years ago, I just used to refuel by myself, but now when things have changed, it, I need always somebody with me to refuel. Does this experience mostly apply for your situation? Or do you know if it is a general uh, problem for a wider group of people with disabilities? I can speak only uh, my behalf, but you know, I think that I'm not the only one here. I have a car and I can go wherever I want, when I want, but that's not really the case because uh, I'm not able to refill where I want. Without a mobile app, I'm not able to pay or, or I'm not able to reach out the gas pistol. So, so it's not so easy task to make a trip, for example. Marcus, uh, would you like to try to make a, a refueling uh, to show me how, how that actually works for you in a, in a wheelchair? Yeah, sure, let's go. Stepping out of the car is a very demanding and time-consuming process for Marcos. The full process is shown here in high speed, but in real life it lasted about 6 minutes. So, here we are. I'm not able to reach out the payment. Um system so I have to use my phone and my app. Would you have been able to refuel here if you did not have the app? No. No, absolutely not. I will give you a hand. Like this, it should go, but not. Stepping into the car is the same demanding process for Marcus as stepping out of the car. This clip has been cut out to keep the length of the video down. really hard at this time uh, well this is normal normal situation for for me but I could see that it was difficult to get the fuel nozzle back in the dispenser again it was it was actually horrible and dangerous because because I had this uh, fuel pistol on, on my lap and that, that is the situation where, where I don't want to be Marcus, now we are here at the, the robotic station. Uh, would you like to take a review with the robot to make a comparison? Of course, that would be nice.
So Marcus, how is it to use the robotic system? Actually, this was very um, nice experience for, for me. For, uh, for example, warm car, uh, no hassle, um, and there was no safety issues. This time I felt like an eagle driver. So this is serviceful for me. Do you think this could be a general help for people with disabilities or other physical challenges? Well, um, I think this kind of technical solution uh, service uh, suits for, for everyone because uh, it, it makes us eco drivers. Um, uh, you can you can fuel uh, up uh, with uh, disability or without disability, and uh, it suits for young people, uh, older people, and uh, there is also also safety issues that, for example, at night time uh, it's it, it's not possible always to get out from the car. So you stay in the car and you're safe. Thank you, Markus, for uh, testing out the, the robotic refueling system. And thank you for involving me in your manual refueling procedure. It was uh, very good to see. Thank you. This was also uh, a nice experience for, for me too. And uh, let's hope that this technology will be a future standard. Let's hope.